Hello, welcome to another video about LSX engines, tuning, and marine. In this video, I'm showing a Mercruiser 3.0 liter four cylinder engine. And um, what I'm doing is um, I've, these lifters, these, these lifters, uh, these valves have already been adjusted. And um, following my procedure in a previous video where I chased the firing order. But um, I noticed that some of these lifters, I could take my thumb and push down right here, push, push down. And the entire push rod would move that way, probably, I don't know, about a tenth of an inch, maybe a little less. But they would, they would move down and spring back. And it was, I think, three or four of them were doing that. And um, that could be a sign of a lifter that's collapsed and not, not holding. So, um, but it also could be normal. So, because um, if the lifter's not pumped up with oil, it, it would probably do that. But just to be safe, I wanted to make sure these lifter, lifters would pump up and are good before I put this engine back together and put it in the boat. Um, I don't want to put this cover, the lifter cover here on and seal it all up and then have to take it all back apart in the boat to fix a lifter that uh, I could have tested right here in the shop. So it's a lot easier to test this in the shop than it is in the boat. So what I've done is um, I put a hose on, this is the uh, drain hose for the engine, I wanted to put that on, put the oil filter on the engine, um, I put a pressure gauge in the oil port right here, the oil pressure port, and it reads up to about 200, what is this, 100 and it's a 160 PSI gauge. Um, so I've got an oil pressure gauge. I put um, three, about three quarts of oil in the engine. I just poured it in that hole right there. Since normally you'd pour it in the top of the valve cover, but I, instead I poured it right through there. So the engine has about three quarts of oil. And then uh, I use an oil priming tool, which is this thing right here. It's an it's a, it's electric drill with a special shaft. And the shaft has a tip that looks like the tip of the oil pump. And this is a priming tool that works on V8s also, a small block Chevrolet V8s. So I put the, uh, the drill right down through this hole right here, engaged with the oil pump, and I spun it clockwise. And uh, so it's spinning clockwise, and it took about 15 to 20 seconds before any pressure showed up on this gauge right here. It showed up, the needle moved up to about 40 PSI with the, with the drill spinning probably about idle speed. And um, the reason it takes so long to build up pressure because you have to fill up the oil, the oil filter, you have to fill up the passages in the engine. So you don't build up pressure, and plus um, the oil pump has to suck, actually suck oil up to it. This, these engines have the oil pump sitting a little high. It sits about the bottom, it's about right here. Maybe a little lower, I don't know, somewhere about here. So then, unlike a small block, small block Chevrolet where the oil pump sits down in this submerged in oil where it's automatically primed, I believe this oil pump sits a little bit higher. So it might take a little bit longer to prime. So anyway, I spun it about 20 seconds and it built up oil pressure at 40 PSI. And uh, as you can see, oil started to ooze out of these lifters up here on the top. So it was coming out from the uh, circumference of the lifters, which is normal. And uh, you see what the reason, and uh, it pulled up here in the engine. And that's the reason I've got it tilted on a 45 degree angle. I don't want this oil to run down on top, on top onto this cork gasket before I actually have a chance to seal this engine up. But um, anyway, the bottom line is that after I did this, pumped this oil up to 40 PSI and I spun it about probably another five, 10 seconds with 40 PSI uh, oil pressure. I then came back and tested each lifter. I, I turned this engine around in the firing order until I got each each uh, piston on top dead center and uh, check each lifter, push down on it, and they they no, they no longer move down. So they're they're primed and the the lifters are pumped up and they're all good lifters. So I'd rather know that now and uh, know that they all prime and are good before in, instead of finding out that they're bad inside the boat when I have to take it all back apart. It's worth the time to do this now than to find out later. <clears throat> um, it serves two purposes also. I, I've, I've been able to prime this engine. I've got oil in my bearings. I've got, I've got the um, engine prime now. Um, so that's one thing you're supposed to do also is prime the engine oil before you ever start it. So that, this killed two birds with one stone. So that's a step that's out of the way. So I'm now about to uh, install this cover. Uh, this engine's ready to go. Install this cover, install, install my valve cover and continue with uh, assembling this engine uh, ready for installation uh, tomorrow. So thanks for watching my videos. If you enjoyed my videos or find them useful, please subscribe to my channel and uh, good night.